Scanty's Explorer will just be an extension of KSS. And even if KSS. <laughs> Hi, good morning, good afternoon, you're welcome to the channel, right? So, could you Sheldon, one of the, I mean, one of the most respected, the most influential creators in Ghana, has pulled off a trick that I think CEOs in Ghana or even content creators in Ghana should learn or should emulate, all right? I mean, you can say whatever you want to say about Kojo Sheldon. I mean, I don't agree with him on a lot of things, all right? I hear people say he's rude, people say he's arrogant and all that, all right? I think I've had a little experience with him, but, um, but I think we are all different. We all have our own approach to issues. So, I mean, we, we are all entitled to our own opinion. But one thing you can't take away from this guy is he's smart, all right? He's smart is daring and a good risk taker and i'll talk to you about why i am saying this all right a couple of months ago i think a year ago all right the social the social is one of the fantastic social media app in the market all right they organized a master class and invited kudu sheldon all right and um in the master class kudu sheldon i mean shared a lot of great information that i think a lot of creators would even share with people all right that is when I began to wonder, is it good to show them that I've heard people talk about? Because before then, I've heard people say things like, could the Sheldon doesn't like to share, it's oppressive. I heard a lot of things, all right? But when he came for the masterclass, I mean, during the masterclass, he shared, he gave a lot of insights as far as even digging into his own channel, all right? Making statements like some of the videos that he did that we all think he made a lot of money actually didn't really bring in that much, all right? And he said some things like, um, even he shared some insights, the best way to monetize is through merchandise. I mean, he shared great insight. Then I began to wonder, uh, is it the same person people talk so negative about all right that's actually when i mean like i think that i began to think about a whole lot of things all right i mean it's not perfect i mean you, you won't agree with him on so many things but in that same master class he made this profound statement i mean it got to a point where he started talking about risk or risk taking you shouldn't you should dare to explore all right you shouldn't be static you should you should try to explore diverse ways i mean diverse uh, content and even experiment. I mean, yeah, that's the word. He, he mentioned exper being experimental, all right? And he talked about the fact that when he was bringing Scanty on board, a lot of people didn't agree, all right? They thought or they felt that it's so much a big risk to take, all right? But it was like, fuck it, I'm going to take this risk and, and this, take this risk. And it's one of the risks that has really paid off, all right? He said that risk has paid off. And even one of these videos or one of his content somewhere, it's not, I think it's not, it's, it was an interview or a post or something. He said it's not even afraid all right to lose any of his workers including scanty is actually empowering scanty to start his own thing all right because he knows himself all right he knows how good he is so if you will if you leave and you are going to start something on your own you should know that you would have to compete with him i mean he made some stamp statement like that all right but what I would say is you can't take that. That guy is smart and the guy is generous really generous when it comes to sharing of information all right but I didn't really believe him when he said he's not scared or he's not afraid to lose people, including Scanty, all right? Because most often than not, when you see people talking about the things they are not afraid of, it means they have a certain fear in them, all right? To kind of sound affirmative that they are not afraid, even though they actually are, all right? It's like being so much afraid of something that you have to stand, it's like facing your worst fear, pretty much, all right? So I personally don't believe if he says that he's not afraid to lose someone, I mean, lose a worker or something, all right? What I'm saying now is laying the foundation to what actually I want to talk about, all right? I say Kode Shield is one of the finest CEO, all right, in the system, the creators, in the creator economy or the creator space right now, all right? And for what he has done, I think he should be adjourned as one of the best CEOs in Ghana, all right? Listen to, I mean, see what he has done. He realized that he left OMG. He left OMG at a point that he could have used his talent to benefit OMG. All right. I hear people say, oh, he stole, he stole AMG's ideas and started his own channel. Da, 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 da. If, 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 if OMG had that idea, all right, I, I believe if you have the original idea, no matter what, you, you, you can still be in the game, all right? But it's basically like with the Sheldon left with OMG, all right? That's how it looks like, all right? 
I'm not saying that's how it is or that's what it is, but it it looks like that that's but it, it seems like all right. It feels that just the way he left OMG, it will come to a point in his life, all right, that someone that he has groomed, he has trained, he has given opportunities would also leave him. All right. And in that fear, he did something amazing that I believe people should emulate. I saw a video recently on YouTube and guess who? Scanty. Scanty started his own YouTube channel. It's called Scanty Explorer. All right. So that comes to the point where I said Kuri Sheldon is daring. All right. It's daring and he likes taking risk. I mean, risk that normally people wouldn't dare to take. All right. I realized that one of the ways to control people, one of the ways to make sure that you keep them in your fold, to buy their loyalty is to be part of their success story. All right. People will try to bully their workers to stay in, all right, threaten them to stay in. I mean, find ways to keep them. But I believe that one of the ways to keep someone, to sign a lifetime contract with them is to make sure that you let them be themselves and to explore, all right, their full potential, whether it benefits you directly or indirectly, or it doesn't even benefit you at all. If you're able, if you are able to do that, you have actually signed that person for life. If the person actually is a grateful person, you have uh, you have signed that person's loyalty for life. When I saw the video, I was like, "Wow!" All right, Scandi started his own channel. I saw the channel he had about two thousand subscribers. He brought Kuti Sheldon on board to introduce the channel to everyone, and boom, the channel took off to eleven thousand in twenty-four hours. 11,000 subscribers in four hours. <laughs> all right. And in the interview, right, I mean, in the content, the introduction, all right, you could see Kudu Sheldon saying, oh, you want to quit KSS, so you want, you've started your own channel, right? And whenever he, and whenever he made that statement, all right, you could see that Scanty wasn't comfortable. His body language, everything shows that, hey, I mean, like that kind of thing. All right. And I believe, I'm sure Kudu Sheldon was pretty much playing a psychological game, all right? <laughs> I mean, at a point, uh, he said, what makes you think that we sign a lifelong contract? I don't think Scanty took that statement serious. And I don't believe, literally, Scanty have signed a lifelong contract with Kojo Sheldon, all right? But Kojo Sheldon was making a profound statement, all right? He has bought the guy's loyalty, all right? He has bought into the future of the guy, all right? And for what he has done for the guy and to the guy, the guy would always remain in kss whether he leaves the company as a building or as a structure or as an institution he will always be part of kss all right that is if the guy if the scant guy is, is a grateful person for for a ceo to help you create a business that potentially could rival him to rival his business it's a big deal all right so I, I think people would look at Scanty's channel and think, oh, Kuti Sheldon is not smart. I mean, we, after all, this guy is not as smart as we all thought, all right? Like, we all thought, I mean, like, this guy, this guy is not that smart, right, to create a channel that potential could rival. I mean, that masterclass that I talked about in the social masterclass, right? He said people didn't believe in him, and Scanty himself didn't even believe in himself, all right? But it was a huge gamble that he was willing to take, and he paid off, <laughs> All right, now look at Scanty. So this is also one of his gamble, one of the gamble that he has. I mean, one of the dies that he has cast, one of the A's that he has pulled. And I'm sure it will pay off. It will definitely pay off. Even if at one point Scanty decides, maybe we are human, you know, so people can be some way. Scanty, I mean, acts a certain way, all right? I mean, like, sometimes I also believe it takes you to tango. Scanty can be forever nice, but Kuti Sheldon can be somehow, some way that will force them apart, all right? I mean, we are all human, all right? But all things being equal, if Scanty, but all things being equal, what Kuti Sheldon has done would forever keep Scanty in his fold, all right? Scanty's explorer will just be an extension of KSS. And even if KSS... It's, it's not whatever happened to KSS, you would look at the Scanty Explorer and feel a certain, I mean, have this kind of pride. And for for that, for this, for what Kuti Sheldon has done, right? 
if not for anything i mean you may not agree with him or you may not like him for so many reasons i mean you can call him whatever you want to call him all right it's not perfect all right it's human i mean sometimes the ezra brands kicks in and he behaves I maybe mean, we are all human like we all behave a certain way sometimes all right and sometimes i believe when the popularity and the fame gets over into your head you feel that hey i can do everything hey page fuck you know that kind of thing but i think it also comes with growth as he grows if you if you are if you have watched Kudu sheldon's video for a long time if you have been on this channel for a long time you would realize that he has changed before then you even see Kudu sheldon arguing in the comment session arguing if you insult me you insult you some but he has outgrown that so i think it's a stage for this one to to get to a point in time you wouldn't even see him being on twitter and cursing out and all that so i think it's, it's a moment that surely will pass all right so i want us to look at the bigger picture for what he has done allowing his worker to create a channel that potentially could rival the guy all right and you could see in the guy's body language this country's body language when Kujia just said hey so you are quitting right you are that kind of thing right you could have pitched these ideas to me and could you still could you see uh this country was like oh i pitched it to you you could i mean that was so lovely that was so lovely i felt so much proud of this guy and i said to myself this is how ceos should behave all right one of the ways to keep someone in your, in your fold is to allow them to explore closely like giving them close market in their success jumping to their success with them all right just allow them to be who they are and and it's like we show is like on earth and every potential in this guy and for the fact that this guy now has his own channel you have the room there will be no rules you wouldn't be basically boxing a certain rule he can just make the mistakes and do whatever he wants to do, to do on his own channel without thinking of whatever brand or whatever brand and besides i believe good Sheldon has been able to come on his channel to in to basically introduce the channel to the public i'm sure he will give him all the ideas and everything this guy needs to be a good creator and be successful in, in his new career all right and i say this because i know uh, during that master class could sheldon shared every bit of secret something that people should have paid to attend i think the social did extremely well by inviting could Sheldon to the master class anyone who attended master class took away i mean a power pack information took away loads of information that if they implement would really save them well in their career in contact as far as content creation is concerned including myself i learned so much from from him in that particular i think it was a 30 minute uh master class and i learned so much in that master class all right so you can say this guy is a bitch whatever you want to say from but for what he has done all right what he has been able to do if not for anything what he has done what he has exhibited with scanty this guy should be stated in ghana all right so this is what i think this is my opinion all right my opinion my frank opinion i just say things the way it is all right so thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video bye